and thank you for joining. And congratulations, probably, because you already sold to your local audience as much as possible, and now uh, planning to expand to other markets. Markets is actually an interesting word. This is uh, the one which is used in Shopify to define localized uh, shopping experience, yeah, such as uh, languages, maybe domains, maybe pricing. Oh, did I say pricing? Because this is exactly what we're going to talk about in this session. But first, some uh, rehearsal about how Shopify do the, does the things. Let's start by looking in the Shopify admin at some product. So this is Berlin, Berlin guest chair, yellow, and I defined price right in the product card. And I can see it right in my store. So you can see yellow chair, 100. And if you sell internationally, that might be a fine approach, especially if you happen to be in Europe and sell defined prices in Euro, then multiple countries will see the same prices. But what if your target audience is in another country and there are different currency? Let's try to sell something in Canada. You have noticed that price is updated. Now it's Canadian dollars and price is 141. All right, how did it happen? Here you can see that I created a new market uh, called Canada, which represents region. You can see which uh, specific countries it includes, Canada. And the only thing I modified here is how to handle currencies. So now currency will be Canadian dollar instead of US dollar, yeah? And then we can define if we want to Shopify, choose exchange rate, the monitor how to, uh, how to adjust, so dynamic, or we can put the manual one. And also we can decide here if we want to use a rounding or not. Not much flexibility, it's uh, up to Shopify to define these ones, uh, but you can agree to it or not. All right, so that's how it works. Also, uh, pretty simple, uh, configure it once and forget, and uh, like low effort. So the only prices you need to maintain will be in the uh, Shopify product card. But what if we want more advanced scenarios? In markets, we can define actually even hierarchy of markets. I can see that I defined Europe as a whole Europe, but also I have a Germany where prices might be different for some or all products. Let's take a look. We will start with a, a store in the US where we can see the Paris gas chair, which has three variants and has some prices. Apparently prices are different if you select different variants. So blue one will become 200 and the green one is the most expensive, is this 300 US dollars. Now let's move to France, which is in the located in Europe, so it uh, uses a European market, which we configured, and let's see what will happen. France, Euro, bonjour. Now we are in France and we are still selling Paris uh, chair. Black version cost 90, blue version 170, and uh, green one 260, everything in euros. All right, what about Germany? Germany. All right, in Germany, the black version costs the same 90 euros, but blue and green, difference. Something is more expensive, something is a little bit cheaper, both of them now are 200. It's a market specific and I want to be able to control it, yeah? How do I do that? In Shopify, in the new markets, you can see the whole list of markets for regions and we can see Europe and uh, Germany, inside Europe, and if you open it, you can see that uh, I have a specific catalog, Paris chairs, Europe, and what about Germany? I have uh, another catalog, which is called Germany. If you go to the list of catalogs, we can find it, for example, Germany, and you can see that it's assigned to the market, and I have prices, three variants, which are defined here. So that was the introduction on Shopify side. We are of course very much curious how it will work together with a business central. Let's explore. This is Shopify shop card and you can see I'm missing Shopify admin URL. And of course I love this feature so I 
tend to demo it like every season. I just copied the URL from the Shopify admin and let Shopify connector to transform it into what URL I need. So it's like, I use it like every time. Let's activate it. And go to the new page, which is now called Market Catalogs. If you go here, it's empty. We press the button Get Market Catalogs, which looks very familiar to people who are already using B2B functionality of Shopify. All right, I imported three catalogs. They are linked to some markets, All right? You can see that two catalogs actually in different currency. My business central here is in uh, its US version, so the local currency is a US dollar, so that's why currency code is blank for local ones. And this catalog is also in local currency. But uh, Europe and Germany in euros, and I have my uh, currencies here. By the way, you can see the market name on the right one. The same catalog actually can be linked to multiple markets. All right, I did some preparation. I prepared customer price group, and they are called Europe and Germany. And now activating toggles here, and now we press sync prices. What will happen? I try to keep prices very similar to existing ones, but for European ones, I increase it by one, and German by two, and in one case by three. So it will be like more noticeable to see if an update has happened or not. All right, since price is completed, let's go back to online store. And we are in a German version, and you can see that price is 102, as I promised, I will increase something. 202 and 203, just to demonstrate that something is changing when I click these buttons. All right? Now let's explore French version. And you can see price is 91, 171, and 261, increased by one. As promised, just to illustrate that synchronization indeed operates as expected. All right, as we are here in the list of markets, let's explore lore a little bit further. We talk about regions, but you can see the folder which is called POS, point of sale. So technically you can define market for point of sale. You can press this button and specify for which point of sales you want to define prices. And you can see that I have several, but I picked only main location, because my main location is uh, in the right currency. So there is also possibility to define by regions, but it doesn't make much sense for POS. It should be only in local country. But what else we can do? We can create, try to create a new market and see what it is possible to define. So you can define it for regions, POS location, or company locations. That is actually only available for, B, uh, for plus customers who are using B2B. So now, you have two options how to define uh, prices for B2B customers. Either via market, you can define market locations, uh, company locations, and select all locations here, or you can actually open specific, specific B2B customer and add catalog from here. I don't have a non-assigned catalog, that's why list is, is empty. So, two options. Up to you which one you want to uh, use in, uh, in uh, Shopify, because in uh, Business Central, in Shopify Connector, we support both. So, if you define market with com uh, company locations, it will land it here, in Shopify Market Catalogs, because catalog linked to market. But if you decided to link catalog to company directly, then you can find it in, to, in the B2B catalogs. We slightly changed names. It, before it was uh, just catalogs, now it is B2B catalogs. So here you will see only catalogs which are linked to B2B customers directly. It works uh, the same way as before, plus you can see the new currency code field, so now catalog may have a currency. All right, thank you for watching. Check the description, there are some useful links. Bye.